Welcome to day 11 of the 30 days of prayer. Something good is going to happen to you today. Hey, first I want to encourage you. Thanks so much for praying with us in this 30 days of prayer. Thank you for pushing even to day 11. I know God's doing tremendous things in your life as you dedicate and consecrate and separate yourself to prayer. I'm Carrick Butler. I pastor Faith Christian Center of Georgia, and God is doing amazing things here like I know he's doing in your life. Today, our topic is praying for those who are struggling with addiction. You know, one of the things about prayer, as we pray, we're able to release help to assist those who are struggling in different areas. And that's when we read you one passage of scripture in Hebrews chapter 4. It says, starting in verse 14, seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed to the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. For we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities or our weaknesses, but was in all points tempted like as we are yet without sin. Let us therefore, because we have such a high priest, let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. One of the things we're coming boldly right now, not because of our own need, we're coming boldly for those who struggle with addiction and they're going to receive grace to help in their time of need because we're going to take some time to pray right now. So whether we're praying for you, you're struggling with addiction, or we're praying for a family member or a relative, a soul you don't know, we know God is going to step in through his grace and help in this time of need and we're believing they're going to be delivered for whatever Satan is trying to bind them to.